we are going to look at how the vaccines against COVID virus works. So the COVID virus is a coronavirus and these coronaviruses, few examples are SARS and the COVID-19, right? So they look like that, we, we all know that. And then what's the specifics about this one is here they have this spike proteins that's the target one is spike proteins or simply proteins we all know that and then what's the other one is they do have this genome and they have mrna so number two target would be mrna so those are the two targets let's say how this thing should work and here you have a 3D COVID-19 coronavirus. If you take a cross-section A to A and it should look like this. And again, you can see the spike protein and which is our target one. And this is the other one, target two, which is the mRNA. And this one actually you need not the whole genome, you need only 15 units of it. And that's good enough to make a good uh, vaccine. So now how does it work? So let's look at first how we get infected and get sick. Here we have a healthy person, right? And this healthy person's lungs uh, normally functions with these air sacs, right? So what can happen if we breathe in a virus? So the virus goes through the mouth and nose mostly and it goes through the trachea, goes down, goes to the lungs, and then the lungs get infected, right? Let's see how things work here. So these are the, uh, if you look at, so this is one alveoli, one cell actually. So this is one cell. So this is the simple cell and inside the nucleus and there's a lot of things happening, but this is the membrane. So this is like the, the fence of it right so what happens here they do have these um these receptor proteins and these are just like antennas or like a guard post uh, so that it protects the cell from the membrane and it uh, this is like an antenna so what happens here when we get the virus into the alveoli into the airways and it's going to detect here and it checks the id and it figures out Okay, this is the right host. It goes into the cell and invade the cell and then that destroys the, the alveolar cells. And that's how we get the trouble. And when we get sick, the gas exchange don't work. So people need to be treated with oxygen and so on. Then eventually infection. So this is the infected cell. And let's see how do we stop that, right? So that's the easiest way. Basically, we are trying to stop the enemy at the gate right okay now here so this is this is a let's say this is a sick person infected and his droplets and saliva and what he touches like doorknobs can infect the other person who is a healthy person here right and we know we have been doing using ppe and distancing and those things helpful very helpful but it will not completely protect us from the sickness right so the vaccine comes into action here so if we do have a vaccine one way to do is this if we have a block here so this antenna the receptor and will not recognize this one so that way we stop the virus entering the cell so we stop the enemy at the gate so that's one of the best ways to do it right so we will not get infected if we have this recombinant protein so that's what the first type of vaccine we're going to talk about so let's see in detail uh, so here is the covid virus and then this pro these are the spike proteins as we talked about so these proteins do encode into dna right 
and uh, so we can do we can just prepare these proteins in the test tubes right and these proteins can be injected right or we can also produce DNA and in the test tube we can make mRNA and we can also produce the protein so the protein goes into the body right and then it it produces these little pieces of protein and these are basically fake virus proteins right they are not real viruses so we are not really infected by the bad virus we do have inside our body after the vaccine that these proteins so these are called antigens so the antigens are the sign that saying to the body that there is an invasion coming up right so what happens the body's immune system immune system start to work and it produces these ones these are called the antibodies so the antibodies are our proteins our self proteins and these are just to fight back these antigens right so the proteins are produced to fight back the antigens now uh, so we we produce these ones in the body in the millions these are in the millions the more the better so the more the time it will make more and more right now these these viruses coming into the body and they come into the body right so what happens now these antibodies go and bind to the virus and it neutralizes the virus so no more infection right that's how it should work so that's the first type of virus and uh, so the, the the companies like AstraZeneca is producing this protein so so this type of protein type of virus right and this can be uh, stored in the room temperature normal temperature and uh, so what's the news was saying that this will be um, distributed to the African continent and Asian Asia and South America most probably because they are warmer countries and so this this drug will work much better for those areas in the world right so, okay so let's look at the other one so the other one is we also can take this parts of the genome out that's the mRNA or we can actually do this DNA encoded back to mRNA so either way we can produce this mRNA in a test tube in a good laboratory and uh, so Moderna and Moderna and uh, Pfizer so they produce this type of drug right so they produce this one but only sort of negative thing not a negative thing it only sort of task challenge is this should be stored in a neg um, negative 70 celsius and so on very cold temperature so that's why mostly the north american and uh, european countries are ready to take this medication right this vaccine right so the vaccine goes in and uh, from that one it it produces mRNA becomes DNA and it converts to DNA and it converts into proteins in the cell so we produce this one after the injection right and now we these proteins are again appearing these are the antigens and then the body's immune system start to produce the antibodies so they produce here in the millions and then again the infection takes place they come into the body through the airways and then what happens the antibodies go and bind and neutralize the virus so no more infection again right so that's how you stop the infection so those are the two drugs and what's the important thing they are slightly different uh, mechanisms they they do uh, but they will provide the protection right okay now so there was another question asked about what is the herd immunity 
So what's the herd immunity is this one. So this is a big population, let's say in a country. So if we um, vaccine 65 to 70 percent of the population so that's why i put check marks these all these people are vaccinated right majority so let's say we all got vaccinated then we call we have the herd immunity if we do have the herd immunity this is what can happen so let's say the virus actually can 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 hide and stay somewhere other parts of the world let's say this person travels and get infected and what happens is only this person will get infected right and so it will not go to this person this person this person and this person, right so we are mostly protected and let's say this one let's say this is a family so let's say this child got infected right what happens there let's say here's the mom and dad they will get infected too but not the rest of the population. So what's the good news about the herd immunization or herd immunity, actually? And uh, so there is, there we won't run out of hospital beds and the facilities and there will be enough doctors and nurses to treat us, right? Okay, now the last question I was asked about what are the other type of viruses? These are a few examples. So the MMR, so after the, um, uh, yes, after Jenner's experiment for the first vaccine started, and then now we know this is a type of MMR is a uh, popular uh, vaccine we know, and Ebola has a um, different type of vaccine for the last few years we know, and normal flu vaccine and the polio vaccine actually basically killed viruses we put into the body, right? And then Hep B is a different type. So these are a few uh, types that we were talking about the mRNA virus, and we talked about the protein vaccine, right? And then there is a possibility of making DNA vaccine as well. So that's about the types of vaccines. The last question, and if you're interested how the immune system works, is this way. So the immune system to me, it's more like a, like a uh, protecting a country, like like the forces of a country. So let's say these are the um, um, foot soldiers here, right? This is called the macrophage in the immune system. This is basically our army, right? And then army detects these antigens, which is came from the virus, right? Or from the enemy, right? And then it uh, it is... Um, detected and coded and then given or communicated into the other side right so this is something like a base right and the command so the base and the command takes this this information that there is an enemy invading the country right it gives into the other uh, specific forces let's say these are like snipers and um, let's say um, commandos and that type of forces. They are very specific, right? So they have special guns and tactical weapons and those things, antibodies, right? And also they have the tanks and, you know, more destructive um, weaponry, right? So those are the ones, the cytotoxic T cells. So that's how the immune system actually works. So it detects the antigen and transfer the information into the other cells and help T cells and the memory B cells, right? And they produce in the millions these antibodies, right? And sometimes we, we heard about the booster dose because if we, if we have a diminished memory uh, about the antibody production and the booster dose is needed right okay so that's how things work if you have any comments please leave a comment and i want to say thank you